Assalamu alaikum and hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a bacterium like H. pylori, the agent of gastric ulcer on Blender 2.8. First, let's start by deleting the default cube. Add from mesh list around the cube. Click one for a front view. Select edit mode and select this part, the right part of the round cube. But if this icon is not selected, as you see, just the part in front will be selected. That's why I have to click it, to click this icon. That's why I have to click this icon before selecting the right part of the round cube. Now, if I select this part, so both parts front and back will be selected click one for a front view again and hit move pull this part till this point for example and same for the left part this is the body of our bacterium h pylori Go back to object mode and add to sh add shade smooth for this bacteria. Click S to decrease the size and SX to increase the size but just for variable X. I think it's better. Okay, this is the body of our H pylori. Now we can name this round cube H pylori okay uh, now it's time for uh, to create the flagella as you know H pylori has many flagella which allow uh, this bacterium to swim especially inside the stomach go back to edit mode and uh, I have to choose, I will uh, turn off this icon and I have to choose face, that's why I will choose the first face, decrease the size, okay, click one for a front view and you can hit extrude to cursor to create the first flagellum. So this is our first flagellum and I will make another and another by the, by the same manner. Click again select and choose another face, decrease the size, click one for a front view, it, it doesn't appear so click Z, now it is seen and again hit extrude and you can extrude the flagellum like this one okay click again select and we have to choose another face decrease it with, with the same result with the same manner click one also Create, hit extrude and create the third flagellum. No, no big undo. Okay, this is the third flagellum. I can add a fourth one as you see select click select again and click this face decrease the size and front front view click Z okay extrude to cursor and this is the fourth flagellum so this is 
our edge pilory go back to object mode now it's time for shading or uh, before shading let's uh, apply a modifier select the uh, edge pilory click modifier add modifier subdivision surface uh, viewport let's make it uh, uh, four or five even uh, render three and quality three add uh, displays to apply a texturing click here hit new and select from this list that texture you like i, I want to choose uh, clouds uh, select improved perlin go back to modifier and decrease reduce the strength 0 to 0 0.1 for example uh, now I, I as you see this is our bacterium h pylori but i want to add some flexibility to the body of this bacterium that's why i will click uh, one for a front view i'll click two also go back to edit mode and select this part for example move it a little bit downward by clicking G okay but no uh, don't forget uh, before to select this icon and now select this part for example or this part this one uh, click G to move it downward or upward a little bit it's better to be okay this one also this part select and G okay let's see our new bacterium uh, the body of our new bacterium I think we can uh, modify this uh, uh, body also uh, go back to edit mode uh, uh, G with upward go back to object mode and this is our bacterium flexible with its four flagella you can make create five and six flagella it's not a problem uh, now it's time for shading hit this icon and uh, choose from this list shader editor select the edge pylory click in you and uh, I will move a principal BSDF and I will add uh, Fresnel and uh, I will add also from shader I will add the emission connect emission to surface and fact to strength and this is our edge pylory with a gray color you can modify here the color you can select the color that you like okay this is our edge pylory so if you like this video and you find it clear and helpful don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for, for more videos uh, in the next video we talk about how to animate this bacterium in a simple way and strategy thank you